Hey everyone, it's Fancy Pants. <laughs> I wanted to make a video and kind of explain my road or my path when it comes to estrangement and why I feel I have the knowledge and experience to help other people. My estrangement started 13 years ago. This is prior to the quote unquote to Facebook and all that, um, all the groups, all the support. Estrangement was kind of, it wasn't new, but it wasn't a very common thing. Maybe you'd have one family member that would estrange, but normally it was a brother and a sister that parted ways or a family that was dealing with an addict who had left home and was doing their own thing. And the story of the prodigal son where the, obviously in the Bible, this was years ago. And so these stories are not uncommon. And so when I was 40, both of my daughters had estranged. They were each about 19 years old, did their own thing, went out into this world. And so I didn't have groups on Facebook to go into. I didn't really know anyone else who had had gone, to, who had had this experience. And everyone I talked to said, oh, my kids would never do that. And I'm so sorry. And what did you do? And so there was a lot of questions surrounding my own personal experience. And I, what did I do? Well, first and foremost, the first year was hell because I didn't accept my daughter's decisions and it was through every holiday Mother's Day their birthdays it was it was hell and it was it was very challenging and the reason it was challenging is because I didn't accept their choices and decisions and it that happens in parenting when it comes to our children choosing making choices that oppose or go against what we thought would happen, what we believed would be. I always thought my daughters would be around and most people in my life say that I, I never thought you and your daughters would, would lose contact. And so it begs to differ that it did happen. And I, I had to learn how to cope. Now I've never been one to do drugs and drink excessively. I, I'm not saying I don't have a drink once in a great while, but I don't really drink. I don't, it's just not my thing. So I had to learn how to cope. Now, either you can choose to cope in negative ways and you can kick and scream and say, this isn't going to happen. You're my child. I have rights. These are my grandkids. And so you can either kick and scream or you can say, this is your choice. It's not what I thought would happen. It's not, it wasn't my idea of my future, but it is the way it is. So what am I going to do? And I did, had to decide to live again. And that meant creating a whole new life for myself. Um, going to therapy, I went to Al-Anon. I accepted their decisions. And now I am living a whole new life. First 20 years was first 20 years of my life was with my family of origin, my three sisters, mom and dad. I had a huge family. Uh, second 20 years, I raised my own children, and then I had to start creating a yet new existence for myself, which meant I had to learn how to find joy in this world that through the holidays, through Mother's Day, through their birthdays, through my birthdays, through when I was in the hospital having surgery and I was facing very challenging times by myself when I thought, well, I, my daughters always be there. And sometimes that's not the case, whether they pass through natural causes, it's through tragic events, or they choose to disconnect. It's about getting up and focusing on what blessings you're allowed to experience each and every day. So I, I now am married. I have a myriad of animals. I am a mom to uh, and I have an extra mother to other women in this world, um, one being my previous neighbor who we're still in contact. She calls me her extra mom. So I am blessed. I am allowed to spend time with other people's children, which I'm allowed to be an extra grandma to other children. And 
I just had to accept my situation and I had to look outside of my home to say how can I be of service to other people since I am no longer quote unquote of the service I was to my children um, when they were with me. So there's a lot of people in this world. I am blessed through the love of other people, through the love of my husband, his family. Um, I have a sister-in-law who is just such a nice person. She and she and I are just, I love that girl so much. We're so close. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. That's how I survived, and um, I'm here for you, so I'll be back.